Red bastard here again, your beloved fatty. That's me. I have another new old stock product, an American drink. It is almost past best, but not yet. And probably will, at least in this exact form, will probably never be seen again, at least for a very, very long time. It was originally, originated this flavor in this exact form in New Zealand. I tried it. It was, um, it was basically a modified orange juice, which this product technically is. If you want a good bit of pub trivia, this product technically is an orange juice derived soft drink soda. Technically. Of course, we all know it's complete and utter bullshit, but technically speaking, it is. I'll put you out of your suspense if you don't know. It's Mountain Dew. This one's live wire from America. That means it's orange flavored. Here's your ingredients list. I spent a lot of this time loving, adoring, and fetishizing Mountain Dew from America because I thought it was the best soft drink out there. It was, um, it was pretty nice. And because in Australia, like Canada, we have the same rules regarding caffeine in drinks, the only exceptions are coffee, I mean, meaningful quantities for those smart asses out there who want to buy a oh, tea has coffee, caffeine in it. Yes, I mean, added meaningful quantity, yeah, even added caffeine. So, coffee, tea, all that has natural caffeine, they don't care. As long as you don't take the piss by adding it in. As soon as you do that, it must need to be a Coca Cola style drink that is exempt or it must have some kind of medicinal health benefit that's why you will always see down under you need to drink somewhere or have oh it improves your vitality it puts a pep in your step it's for your wellness and benefit that is a bullshit disclaimer saying this is not a soft drink this is a health improvement product uh, of course we all know that's complete and utter bullshit but let the lawyers argue that one which they did because some cock smack pointed out to the folks at customs that Mountain Dew of America has caffeine in it. Like almost a lot of soft drinks in America have at one time or another, but Mountain Dew still does. And it makes no claims whatsoever that you've got pep in your step, beef for your volatility, sharpen your mind and well being. It's just a bloody soft drink. So for about two or three years, it was the only Mountain Dew you can get from America was stuff people were smuggling themselves at, oh my God, expense on eBay, or stuff that had been bulk imported because they'd obviously been given notice we cut you off after this point and people just flooded the country. And holy shit, you do not want to drink a Mountain Dew that's two, three years out of date. It is horrific. And then when they started trickling back in the country, I, I seriously thought about it. And, you know, they, they, they're rather shit. They're a pain in the ass to get a hold of nowadays, um, this American stuff, because um, here in Hells there's been a huge shrinkage in the confectionery world. There used to be a lot of variety, a lot of competition. You can get just about anything if you're willing to pay enough. Now getting a hold of anything at all is a huge pain in the ass. Especially if you don't want to engage in a bit of a um, daylight robbery with a side of a um, anal probing. So the fact I've got a hold of this is a minor miracle. Of course, it's new old stock, so it expires in about a month. So, um, yay for me. I'm not going to drink toxic waste for you dickheads. Actually, this tastes okay, that little bit that was in my thumb there. I suppose I've got no choice but to take a swing, eh? I've already committed to this. Good old overhead noise, eh? Probably looking under a flight path. For a small airport, but still, it's annoying. It tastes sort of like an orange, an orange soft drink. It's like someone got an orange, only for it to replicate it, 
very, very, very sweet orange, almost candied orange. It did a bloody good job, but then for mm, it's not orange juice enough. And then added some glyceroids to it to give it that sort of well, the easiest way I can describe glyceroids to people who don't know that flavour is um you know that weird, horrible, disgusting flavour freezer burn has? <coughs> no? Well then uh get some ice cream, let it defrost for 10, 15 minutes. Whip it back in the freezer. Then when it gets that crust of freezer burn right at the top, right under the lid, nibble on that. And if your freezer doesn't smell like a fucking gulag stew, you'll have this horrible, grotty flavour that just seems to eat through your tongue. It's just... I swear to God, it's glycerized because I've seen it before in um, American stuff. It's orange flavoured, it's like, oh, it's orange flavoured, and yada yada, glycerides. Yeah, that would have to be it, because I, I can't place it otherwise, it's impossible to place the flavour, I suspect I've added it here. It's a very, very sweet, almost candied orange flavour, with just a dash of glycerides at the end, it's, um, well, it's not the best, not the worst, let's see. Oh god, that's garbage. Brominated vegetable oil. I've never gotten why Mountain Dew needs brominated vegetable oil. What the fuck does it need that for? Well, that's probably why I don't drink this shit anymore. Very often. I don't know. It's very fragrant too. Very fragrant, very sweet orange. There's the dashing glycerides at the end. It's um, as Mountain Dew's concerned, it's actually not that bad. It's not the end of the world. It's a pretty good one, actually. I mean, um, considering this is basically the farewell review for a product that will probably never be seen again, just as a live wire in orange, it'll be game fuel live wire, and it'll be. Orange or tropical or you know, berry punch. Or, I, I don't know. No. Double trunk glaze. Um, who, who knows what they'll bloody call it in the future? <clears throat> but you'll probably never see it in this exact form again. Um, kind of disappointing. But this would be the sort of thing in America where you'd get a slab of this, maybe a slab of Pepsi or Coke, whatever your flavour is. I mean, you're ready to say Coke all the time, or this all the time, you switch to the other and then come back after a couple of cans and come back and just perfectly content. It's an entirely okay soft drink. Um, I'd argue it's possibly better than the Kiwi version, which is where this flavour in this exact form originated. The cans are almost identical. I believe I have both cans in my personal collection of cans, so... If um, there's anyone out there at all with a YouTube account who wants to see them, just ask them, dig them out, take a photo, and find a way to slap it in the commentary. All this is white is gone, actually, for all intents and purposes. Oh well. Is life and it is the farewell tour, so I suppose it's a good thing that it's actually a bit of a good one. Fantastic.